Music has always played a notable role in Leona Jones's life. She began singing in the church choir as a child, and at 80 years old, she continues to sing and play the organ at Mass each weekend. Her daughter says if Leona had a theme song, one of them would be... I say yes, my Lord. I say yes, my Lord. Through all the good times and the bad times, Leona has said yes to the Lord. Married 47 years before her husband Bill died in 2002, and the mother of six children, Leona's priorities were always known. We all knew that mom loved three things, God, the church, and family. And to her, everyone was family. Which meant the door to the Joneses' home was always open. Whether it was visiting missionaries, whether it was teenagers who were um, kicked out of their house for some reason or other or having some struggles. My parents built a table that was four foot by eight foot and there were always extra places and there were always extra people at our dinner table. Leona's daughter-in-law, Sandy, shares her experience of being welcomed. I didn't have no religious backgrounds and I was never baptized, nothing, nothing, nothing. So she took me under her wing and she said, well, you will live with me and I will get you baptized and confirmed. And, and she did catechism on the couch with me every night. I lived with her and she got me baptized and confirmed and that was 34 years ago. The Joneses home also served as the site of their parish's credit union for many years. As secretary and treasurer at St. Elizabeth of Hungary in Rees, Leona agreed to move operations from the church rectory to her basement. And the, and the kids got used to credit union nights, you know, there were people coming in all the time and, and, uh, and they would visit with them up in the kitchen. Flexible hours and friendly personal service helped the credit union thrive. It served many families before eventually becoming part of Frankenmuth Credit Union. $325,000 in assets when I took it over and it was $14 million when I, when I left the credit union. In 1970, Leona and her husband, along with others, helped build the new St. Elizabeth Church and School in Rees. She had this spirit about her that she really was a real disciple of Jesus because she was welcoming and everybody seemed to, you know, be in her, I don't know, her hug, like, you know, it was really kind of cool. When I first started working for the school, my dad passed away, and she was there. Um, and she's been there for everybody. She has the worship page. She helps out at the school, the church, prepares for funerals. Just touch many lives, not only for the parish, but also for the diocese as well. In 1980, Leona agreed to serve as secretary to the late Bishop Ken Utner. It was a role in which she continued to touch many lives. I came to the Diocese of Saginaw in 2003, and after going through the process of uh, becoming a seminarian for our diocese, I had to have an interview with Bishop Kang, and I was very nervous because uh, I didn't speak much, much English back then, and so I went to his office, and of course the first big smile that was there was Leona. Best job I could, anybody could ever have. I learned so much from Bishop Ken. In 2000, Bishop Ken began writing little books to encourage people to pray and spend time with the Lord each day. He continued to do so until his death in 2004. Little Books, this is Leona. Today, Leona serves as operations manager at Little Books, which are distributed around the world. We sell about 3.3 million books a year, and it's held pretty steadily in spite of all the, the closings and mergings across the country. But it is little people, the individual people, that are, I think, responsible for the growth of little books. Of course, Leona does her part as well. She travels the country attending conferences, always bringing little books with her. She just gives, people have no idea, the behind the scenes things that she does. And she just does it with a loving heart. For more than 30 years, Leona has also been a resource for priests helping them answer questions related to their pension, Social Security, and Medicare benefits. Leona just has a heart of gold, and um, one of the, um, of the many uh, things she loves so much and is willing to, to offer a great deal of time and energy of service is to the retired priest. I mean, she just has so many different things going all the time, you know, and I thought, I don't know how she does it all. Well, I just think you have to take the opportunity when God gives it to you. you know? 
you never you never know until later that it was God's hand in it, you know, but I do believe that that's what's happened in my life. And with a song in her heart, Leona plans to continue to say yes to the opportunities God gives her. Leona, your generous service and endless energy are your trademarks. Family and friends marvel at your work ethic. I don't know if this is true, but your daughter described how you would swim laps in the pool, get in nine holes of golf before the sprinklers turned on, stop by church, and then head to work each day. You touch the lives of countless people from different walks of life, treating those you encounter with love and respect and inspiring others to do the same. Leona, on behalf of all the faithful of the Diocese of Saginaw, I congratulate you on being a co-recipient of this year's Bishop Murphy Award. Your faithful dedication to your parish and our diocese has certainly been a blessing to us all. God love you.